Uh, this moto style bike is so much fun. It's specced perfectly for a budget bike. And I just wanted to point that out. Keep in mind, this is a budget bike. It's a entry friendly price point. And a lot of these bikes for a while were, I think, getting it wrong. They were trying to include everything that you could possibly want to compete with some of the bigger bikes. And what that actually, or the more expensive bikes, and what that actually would do is it would end up with a lackluster experience because you would get all the bells and whistles, but they would be really low quality bells and whistles that would break or just not function right. It was just a nuisance to really kind of have to fiddle with and tweak to keep them up and going. Uh, but what these manufacturers are starting to do, like this one, they figured a lot of things out. Like, for example, a bike like this, they capped the speeds at 20 miles per hour. They made it legal for almost any trail in America based on federal uh, law. You have to check with your local jurisdiction. They can change and tweak things. But I know in California, where I live, and most states, this is perfectly legal on any bike trail. Now, there are a couple of mountain bike trails that are maintained. They're private trails, and there's some that are forest trails. They don't allow motorized bikes, even e-bikes, on some of those trails, but those are few and far between. Almost any trail or road that you can go on with a regular bike, you can go on with this bike. It is a Type 2. It's capped at 20 miles an hour, pedal and throttle, and it's considered by the federal government to be a regular bike, okay? So they kept that going for it. And in capping those speeds, they were able to cut some corners on cost a little bit. So the rear motor is not as powerful as some of those big high-end bikes. It's a 750 watt motor, but that's max power. That's not continuous power. They matched it well with the smaller battery. Uh, so the smaller battery is not going to get you those big 30 to 50 mile uh, uh, ranges, but this one will get you about 20 is probably the max that it's going to get you. If you're not going up and down hills and you're pedaling a little more, I think maybe you'll probably reach 25 uh, on a good day. But this one's going to get you about that uh, 20 mile range. And what they were able to do was get you a UL certified battery. So you got a quality battery on this thing. Quality motor, quality battery, okay? And then the other thing that they did was they got you mechanical disc brakes instead of hydraulic disc brakes. With a 20 mile an hour speed, a bike like this, these are perfectly capable of stopping you just fine. So they saved a little money there, but they did give you 160 millimeter disc brake. So uh, they got you what you need to be okay on this bike to get around and be able to stop yourself. They did exactly what was needed. Same thing for these forks, these front forks, these hydraulic forks, they're uh, not the top of the line, uh, front forks, but they're enough to get this bike where they designed it to go, this type of terrain that I'm talking about. And they combined it with this spring rear suspension that does the job just fine as well. This, in my opinion, they spec'd it perfectly. All of the components were well thought out. So whoever manufactured this, whoever put this bike together, I do believe they knew what they were doing. They really got you a quality bike for a budget price. They didn't try to put everything in it and end up giving you a bike that's just gonna fall apart on you in the long run and not work to spec. They got you exactly what you needed to get the job done. And I'm super impressed and I'm having a lot of fun on this bike, especially with how comfortable this ride is. Man, it's comfortable and it is fun. I'm gonna hop on and keep going a little bit, testing out that battery life to see if I can improve on that 20 mile range that I got, which was, it was more like 18. Like I said, I was doing a lot of hill climbing to kind of test this thing out. So see if I can get up this bigger steep hill right here with a nice 
run up to it. I'll try to pedal up at the same time. Yeah, it just blows right up that no problems whatsoever. Pedaling is okay. It's not amazing. So you're probably not going to want to pedal this thing all the time. I think most people aren't getting it for that, but you can do it. You can pedal. It's not unpleasant for me. I'm about six foot one. And for the most part, you're gonna be using this throttle anyway. You got your left turn signal, a right turn signal. It also has a brake light on the back. All right, so I'm gonna call this review wrapped up. I definitely can highly recommend this bike. I really don't think you're gonna find anything um, better for this price point. It really is quite something here. In fact, I went to an e-bike expo a few months back and was riding bikes that were close to twice the price point here that were not as well made and weren't as fun to ride. So they nailed it, knocked it out of the park. I highly recommend it. I'm pretty certain most people will be happy with this budget build here. I just don't think you're going to find um, anything better.